Hey everybody, how are you guys doing? Hope you're having a good day because I'm having a terrible one. I don't like my neighbors. I don't like my house. I don't like my neighborhood. I don't like this city. I want to move. But that has nothing to do with this video, so let me try to slap on a happy face. Okay, I'm starting off with a basic non-lit wreath. They're 288 and they are easy to pass over in Walmart because they are sad looking. They're flat, they're smashed, they're not fluffed, anything. With a little bit of fluffing, you have like a decent looking wreath. Not too full, but full enough. For some reason, I got it in my head that I wanted to use one of these Dollar Tree signs to make a wreath. Let me tell you, this whole thing's about to be a disaster. But, you know, why not? I wanted to make a wreath mostly because I made these two ornament garlands the other day. I'm going to link the video up above for you to watch it if you want to know how to make these. And I knew I wanted to include them in a wreath and I thought, let me put this sign in here somewhere and I'll use this terrible ribbon from Dollar Tree that I knew was going to be terrible. Like, you know when you buy something and you're just, oh, you know it's going to be bad, but for whatever reason you use it anyway? That's what I did. So. These garlands are just tied in here using the branches from the wreath and a zip tie. They kind of cross over right here in this empty section on the bottom left, so I'm just going to go in with a zip tie and tighten that up, and then the remaining part of the ornament kind of garland section swag things, I'm just crossing the branches over and getting them in there snug pretty good. And I do a little bit of rearranging just to get everything spread out so it looks nice and full. Nothing too hard about any of this. And since all these ornaments are wired, you can get them to go pretty much wherever you want them to. So I'm going to speed up in a little bit here just because... Oh, I, I don't even know what happened. Well, I do know what happened with this wreath. It was just this ribbon, this horrible glitter... I mean, as soon as I'm opening it, it's just falling everywhere. The other ribbon is from Walmart a couple years ago. I haven't seen it in a while. I haven't seen them do bright colors in a while, so it must have been a couple years back. So, my theory right now is that I'm going to put this sign here, I'm going to put some ribbons on both sides, and it's going to be pretty. And I told myself that, even though I knew not to mess with that Dollar Tree ribbon. So I'm making some little, not really full bows, just a couple of loops. You know, like a little something puffy, because I always see those wreaths that are like covered in bows, and I always think they look so good, but at the same time, it's not something I would personally ever make, I guess, like, because they're not, they look good, they look really good, but it's just not something I see myself doing, you know? So, for whatever reason, I wanted to make one. But I decided to not, you know fully invest and only invest like a dollar. So I'm like, okay, well I'll put this bow here and we're gonna have another one down here at the bottom, which is not like a real bow, it's just got three loops. And then I'm gonna take this horrific monstrosity here and, and try to make, look, I mean, look at the fallout this ribbon has. This was never gonna end well. And I knew it and I just kept going. Cause I was like, oh no, no, no. I don't care how bad this is, I'm gonna make it work because that's who I am. So I'm like, okay, well that doesn't look too bad, and I'm still not feeling the sign at this point. I don't know if it's the wrong sign, if it's the wrong color, if it was the wrong size. I just didn't like it. So I'm making these bows right here, and I'm going to move them off to the side in a minute because I want to focus on adding the other greens to the wreath, and I want to put these bows in last because I know if I put them in now, by the time the wreath is done, that red bow is going to be completely naked. So I'm just taking some greens from my grab boxes that I got from Michael's like two years ago. Last year, two years ago, I don't remember. And I'm just making this basic wreath a little less basic um, by adding these greens in. I don't know what this is supposed to be. It's like a... I end up cutting most of this off later because, spoiler alert, you know how you saw that one wreath in the beginning? That's not the wreath I'm working on now. It is, but I ended up kind of tearing it apart, kind of putting it back together. I'm adding some juniper right now, just sporadically throughout, to make it a mixed green wreath. Give it a little um, interest, a little more texture.
And some more juniper. And I'm just putting this in with hot glue. And here's some more pine with some pine cones on it. Tucking things around, beefing up the wreath a little bit. And I added some of these, you know, the sparkly snowy branches from Walmart. And now I'm putting these bows in and lying to myself. That's what I'm doing. And I hate it. I hate this wreath. Right now I hate this wreath. But I still go and I, I glue it down and I wave goodbye. And then I took it outside and I hung it up to take pictures and I said, nope. I said, I am not putting that out into the world with my name on it. So I took it back in and I started cutting off some of the greens. I ripped the sign off, thinned out some of the stuff at the top, and now I'm taking these bows off because they like the green. There's nothing wrong with the green. It sheds a little bit, but nowhere near as bad as that. Ugh. Don't buy that ribbon. Just don't buy it. So I'm reassessing this now. I have this section at the bottom, and I'm like, let me go back to my bow idea with all the ribbon on this, this wreath, because that's what I want to do. So I made a big bow with some velvet ribbon that had a little bit of glitter on it, and stacked that with one of the original ribbons, the lime green. Because I like the lime green with the dark green, and those striped ornaments had lime green and dark green. And this is a glitter poinsettia from a bush I got from Family Dollar. I haven't seen this since I bought it. And now I have another big bow, and I'm just trying to figure out where I want to put that, and I'm just kind of going for it. I'm like, let me just fill this whole thing up with bows. And it'll look like one of those fancy recessy on Pinterest that are not my style, but let me do it anyway. So there's bows, and then I have some little loops that just have tails cut off them that I'm using to fill up some space and bring the red down a little bit. And this is one of the original bows with the three loops that was on there for the first version of this wreath. And you can see I added some loops around the ornament. I'm pretty sure those don't stay because they're just like there. I'm just kind of curling these out, fluffing everything up. how I like it and I like this a lot better. You saw me? I was trying to put that ugly ribbon back in there. Can you believe that after all of this? I'm trying to be like, hmm, should I save it? No, it was a dollar. You should throw it away. You should get over it. You should move on with your life because that's, that's what you have to do in these situations. So I like it. It's good. And you can see I took those ribbons off and replaced them with more poinsettias. And that's my wreath, both of them. If you like the first one, you know how to do it. If you like this one, you know how to do it. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time. Have a great day. Goodbye. Good night. Good luck. See you later. Bye.